Um, well, the first thing that comes to mind is is uh, Cantu's athleticism, and uh, you know, knowing some of the guys that they have on their team, uh, you know, uh, namely uh, uh, Darius Odom and uh, Daquan Jones, uh, really athletic guys uh, who get up and down the floor and will be uh, tough to tough to contain. So we have to be ready. All right. Well, you know. Everybody talks about, you know, rosters and things like that, but, you know, you can only play five players at a time. You know, you can't, uh, you can't put all 10 guys out there at one time. So, um, you know, the guys who are on the floor just have to be focused on what their job is and, and do your job. And, you know, slowly but surely, uh, you know, the game will take care of itself. Uh, you know, as, as far as what we have to focus on uh, defensively, I think, you know, we come out, uh, Coach Pursuit does a good job with the game plan every week, and we have good principles. And, uh, you know, we have good athletic guys on the wings. They can play defense and good rim protectors. So uh, we have a good balance, and, you know, defensively, it's, 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 really, been, it's really been helpful so far. Well, you know, I, I remember um, last year, I remember losing there, actually. So, um, you know, we had a really good season last year in Milan, but at the same time, uh, you know, we still lost in that arena. It, it was a difficult challenge. And uh, I know anytime going into there, uh, the fans are going to be ready. Those players are going to be ready. So, uh, and, and the fans always give those guys a lift. So we're going to have to be focused and ready. But we've done well on the road this year in pressure situations. So I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, we'll have the same approach. Um, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, everybody's going to say, uh, you know, the easy answer is uh, Darius Odom and, uh, you know, Jones and some of those guys. But, uh, you know, I... I know some uh, some of the guys on the team from last year, uh, Gentile. Uh, you know, uh, those guys have a lot of pride a, as well. So you're gonna have to respect the entire roster. Like uh, like you said in the previous question, you know they beat Kempke. Uh, they've beat some really good teams this year, and obviously they're they're at the same point in the Euro Cup we're at. So we have to respect them, every player, and be ready to play. Uh, you know, it, it was an adjustment at first. Uh, you know, obviously, obviously coming from Milan. And uh, living in Russia again, uh, it, it's, it's an adjustment, but it's one that, you know, I was prepared to make. You know, I, I was ready for the challenge and, you know, we, we accomplished a couple of goals and we came up short in a couple of goals. But, you know, also in, the, in my first season in Milan, it wasn't very good also. So I'm, I'm here to try and build something and do it the same way and, you know, try to achieve some things in the first year and, and continue those things into the second year and, and just try to continue to be successful at every step. The only teams that... I really pay full attention to other teams that we've played against. And uh, Strasbourg stands out in my mind as a team. That, uh, very difficult matchup for us. They, they play us really well. It's a team that has athleticism, has size, and they beat us twice. So, and, and also I'm familiar with Strasbourg from last year in Milan. Uh, we, we played them. And it, was, it was a tough game. They have a good coach. So um, the thing that I, I, I found was that a lot of teams in the Euro Cup at this phase are former EuroLeague teams or, you know, themselves. So they have a lot of pride and a lot of talent on their roster as well.